the guru of squad double zero, the assassin like no other. Yes, I'm best of what to do. It's here to bring you a different kind of discussion. Ah, that's that's what separates me from the rest of cats. And no shots fired, straight up. All you have to do is look at my videos. That's what's up. Anyways, you see me rocking, you see me rocking sleeveless, sleeveless, screwed up in my face. <laughs> Live reaction says shirtless. I wouldn't rock a shirtless, just sleeveless. All in preparation for Uchiha Sasuke. This week about to drop some knowledge, some wisdom, hopefully on Uzumaki Naruto. Okay? Before they before they throw them hands. And I still say Sasuke should win. He should win. Not many he will. He should win. He's a better fighter. He is that when you were pound for pound. Technique for technique. Fighting IQ versus fighting IQ. And everything I could go into the entire analysis, Uchiha Sasuke is a better fighter. Not because he's this whole genius. No, no, no. He's just a better fighter. Can, can we agree on that? But regardless of all that, now is not the time. You see the title of the video. All it was a prelude, more or less, to this one. Now, I'm not, more, I'm not into this whole, you know, much caring about this whole pairing thing. But what I will do is drop the analysis on likelihood of who it makes sense actually to get with Sasuke. Because remember, one of the main things right now people often talk about in YouTube anime and manga community, YouTube anime and manga community, as well as in just the Naruto fandom I, I often hear, come across right, is... The continuation of the Uchiha clan. You know, he's the last Uchiha. That's what you continue to hear. The last Uchiha. The last Uchiha. The last Uchiha. Well, okay. So, what would be the best option? And why? The best mm -hmm, the best option. Out of, let's see, I think I'll go about six uh, choices. Not gonna lie, I believe it was Mr. Badass Enemy. And uh, in a joke post uh, <laughs> that he, he made on a video, talk about these different pairings it was Sasuke versus Tsunade and I say yo you do it too much I say I'm gonna actually do a video on this because it's actually that's one of them it's actually an interesting concept just just bear with me. bear with me right? actually now that I think about it is it seven even though he wants to assassinate the the Kage let's let's just think Naruto you know if he really Ain't about what it says and actually is like a lot of people think pressing Naruto to see if he about that life. Which we'll see if he is or not. Regardless, even though even though I am vibing with Sasuke what he's trying to do with revolution, but you know, we'll see how Kishimoto plays it out. We'll begin with the obvious, Haruno Sakura. Now with Sakura should have always been a zero percent well, not always. Cause back in the day and people called part when back in the early parts of Naruto there was about a maybe 20% chance that he could have ended up with Sakura. I mean, they were comrades. I mean, there was this whole speech, small speech, mind you, but this little speech that uh, Sasuke gave to Naruto during the Sasuke and Naruto versus Gar uh, fight uh, during at the end of the tuning exam arc, right? Pretty much at the end of the arc, right? Yeah. So he was saying, you know, you protect your comrades, you protect Sakura. Now, that's a long time been gone after attempted killing, after clearly, you know, he fully, full blown just said, now, I don't know what the hell she seen me, I don't know how she thought we could be together. Really though? Sakura? What, what the hell's wrong with you? There's nothing off her. Okay, when you look at it, there was no connection from the beginning of the story, ladies and gents. Zero. Zero zilch. Now, I know the, no, he, he the fans. It's not even about that. It's just there was no compa compatibility. There was no chemistry. She had this massive crush on him, and it just devolved. It was an evolution, but it devolved into uh, and and you thought she was getting over it, but no. As soon as he enters the so-called fourth grade shinobi war, it just it just spiraled out of control. I love you. What kind of love? Nah, bro, that ain't no love. And someone will try to try to damage control and throw in, oh, it's an unconditional love. No, it's not. She never loved him. As people probably said, she had a lust for him. Now, I think she cares about him, sure. She doesn't love him. She doesn't love him. She has this sickening fascination about him. 
what was her basis for liking him originally? Well, because he was cool. And because he was an Uchiha genius. Genius Uchiha. I know they said Uchiha is a genius player, but regardless. That's, that's what she bases her thing off of, right? Sasuke didn't really care about her for the most part. When you, when the fact that you're trying to kill somebody, generally, you don't care about it. Generally. Now, there are some exceptions. I mean, when you look at this point, what, what does Sakura have to offer? Okay, she's a Kanoshi. She's a medical shinobi. And? That's it. That's all she has to offer Sasuke. She, he finds her annoying, which she, she generally is. Their personalities clash too much. There is no chance that he, Sakura has with him. She's not mature enough to be with Sasuke. So he's not interested. Now let's move on. Hugo, he, oh no, 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 let, let me, let me say that. Karin, Karin, okay. She has about a, I'd argue about a 20%, uh, 25% chance. I, I'd say she has one out of four chance with Sasuke. Oh, similar situation, but different from Sakura. Here's why. She's a century shinobi. Very, very useful. She's helped Sasuke out on a great number, a uh, great deal. Uh, during his days, you know, under Orochimaru and whatnot. Um, his days trying to get, uh, you know, ka fa ka uh, the Kage Summit. That's just one example. The Battle versus Killer B. That's just another example. Just two examples of, of what the work she puts in. She, uh, during the same thing with Killer B, during the same battle, she gave up, you know, some of her blood to heal. You know, he, he was grateful to her. Um, now, it's true that he tried to kill her as well. But, at the same time, Karim, while it's similar the way Sa Sakura has it, they actually somewhat, they actually at least have an initial bond as comrades. Now, you can say, well, you know, they were part of Team 7. They were thrown together. He didn't have no say, and he didn't want to be part of that team for the longest time. Him and Naruto have a very interesting relationship, but him and Sakura don't. As far as with Karin, he chose that path. And she was a comrade. Now, the likelihood, like I said, 25%. That, that's not a large likelihood. But it's a little something. It's a little, it, it is, that, that's something in the dough. Okay. Um, as they age, I think she would actually legitimately provide possible you know really care for for um for sasuke i think she genuinely does care about sasuke i mean when it comes to sakura it's more like a teen crush to be honest with you it's a bunch of emotional bs when it comes to kind that there's 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 something there there's there's a little bit of something there not much but a little bit of something now moving on coming to Hyuga Hinata. Hinata? Oh, that, that's, that's Naruto's girl. Let, let's think about this clearly, what I'm, what I'm proposing. Not only is Hinata one of the two options besides her sister and Nabi, who I'll get to in a minute, uh, well, in a couple minutes, or more or less. When it comes to Hinata, number one, around the same age, right? Lost a brother, Neji. And Neji, though different from Sasuke in ideology and, and otherwise, well, they weren't brother and sister, but, but they were clansmen, and they they had an interesting bond, to say the least. Her and Neji, um, they developed a uh, tighter bond. Now, Neji is similar to, to uh, Sasuke. Different yet similar. Hugo Neji is similar. Both geniuses, both uh, you know, very skillful. Well, quote unquote geniuses, prodigies, pretty much. Very skillful in in their uh, specific skill sets martial arts and whatnot um both have this both are somewhat of a head case sasuke's more of a head case but someone both are somewhat of a head case both you know forceful um both individualistic so she's used to neji and neji was growing wider so as well as with sasuke okay and so when you look at it she could deal She's shy, she's introverted, but she 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 knows how to deal with people at this point, okay? She's come somewhat out of her shell. She's coming to her own as a young woman, okay? You know what I give about a 33% chance? Here's a main kicker. Not only does she have the potential to be a leader of the Yuga clan, 
but also the Byakugan. Now, this thing, the thing about it is, we don't know because Kishimoto, and you could go and watch my uh, Naruto the Forgotten Clan video, and, and you know, you'll, you'll understand where I'm coming from. He didn't really go into the lineage of the Byakugan. We can only speculate and guess that it came from Hamura. Now, in Uchiha mint blood with a Hyuga blood? That's something to behold. So, some of the oldest, and the fact that he has the Rinnegan now, okay? It's kind of Rinnegan, Shin Rinnegan combination, but he has the EMS, he has the Rinnegan. All of his blood, the genetics with the Byakugan, hey, you never know. You never know. Uh, it, it, it's a legit possibility. 33% is not the greatest possibility. It really is not. But we making leeway. We making uh, we get we going somewhere with this. Now, Hyuga Hina Hanabi. Hinata's younger sister. I say a 50% chance. Whoa, what? What? I know she's young, but we understand this. This wouldn't be the first time that a relationship. I mean, it's not like he's decades apart. Okay, from her is maybe what 10 or so years a decade. It's not unfeasible It's actually could make a lot of sense. He being older by that time. She you know, maybe she inches around 18 to 20. He's maybe around in his 30s uh, You know, it's unconventional, but you know, they operate maybe they operate a little different in a, in the Naruto world when it comes to relationships and whatnot, right? Again, just like uh, uh, Hinata, she has the potential to be the leader uh, of the Yuga clan eventually. She has the Byakugan, so that, that, that blood genetic thing, which would be phenomenal. Oh, and I forgot to mention about Karin. Karin's an Uzumaki. Okay, Uzumaki Karin. So there's a potential of the Rinnegan. That's what I forgot to mention. That, that, that gives her way more advantage than Sakura ever had. Just saying. Potential that the youth, the, the, the child or children bearing one of them could genetically uh, develop the running gun. Just possibility. Not not as much as she, she full blown sends you. Karin. Now with him, uh, in Anabi. From what I gather, at least from what Kishimoto did, she's serious about it. Unlike him, not she a warrior dog. She she rocking the similar kind of vibe. She's a prodigy, just like Sasuke and Neji. Okay, she warrior, just like Sasuke and Neji, more or less. Uh, Shinobi. She proved to be a powerful Shinobi. She has more potential than Edgy himself. So when you take all these things into consideration, I mean, and the fact that she's young, the fact that she would grow up in a somewhat possibly different world. Well, she's grew up in this world, but as she develops the way Sasuke developed, you know, in his in his his folk, his uh generation, his part of the generation. You know, that, that could be something there. And like I said, she's young. So if they meet up, eh, that could be something there. Sasuke comes back from being a rogue shinobi. Being, a, you know, Hogan in there on his travels and whatnot. Gaining wisdom, enlightenment. And hey, maybe there's something that kicks off there. 50% chance. One on two eyes, yeah, you know. Can't beat that, really. Well, you can, but, you know, that, that, that's pretty, that, that's solid. We're getting somewhere. Tintin! We throwing in Tintin, baby. Why? Why are we throwing in Tintin? Useless Tintin. Now, I ain't gonna front, though. Why is Tintin? And I won't, I won't get more into this. Because cause y'all know she getting exposed down the line. But anyway, why why she so beastly in the video game, but she can't be in the actual city? I'm just saying. I mean, she she's the master of tools. Okay? She's master of tools. Ninja tools. You know, weapons. Actual weapons. Which is beastly. Sasuke, Sasuke be rocking them weapons heavy, he 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 rocked that he rocked that blade heavy though. I ain't gonna fret. I ain't gonna fret. She's a master of of weapons. She's a Kanorchi. You know she's a Mega Shinobi like like Sakura. Don't believe she on the same level. You know even though you you would think that would get Sakura some kind of leeway, but no. Personality class. Ten ten. She's a wild card. She really is. That's a possibility. You know. I mean, think about it. Like, I'm, I'm being dead serious. There is a possibility of Tintin. She, I mean, she's no threat to him. You feel me? Except if you're worried about getting butchered by a kitchen, by a kitchen knife. But no, she, I mean, the personalities didn't really clash, so to say. She's just Tintin. 
She's dentin. What can you say? You feel me? Uh, she likes to crack jokes and stuff. I mean, hey, give her a few years down the line. Who knows? So I, 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 I rock it at about a, about a 15% chance. Yeah, she actually does have a greater percent chance than Sakura does. Sorry, sorry, yeah. Sakura gets zero. She she get a goose egg. Um, ten, ten, I mean, she could be, you know, she, she could be possibly a good wife. Yeah, possibly, possibly. Yeah, just throwing that out there, throwing it out there. Now to to the heavy hitters. I, I think I, I think I'll say the main attraction for for the last, the one that came to my mind as I was uh, beginning this video, the Mizukage. Why the hell would Sasuke wanna wanna be with the Kages? Things change, life change. He's still developing. They probably are gonna be in place. Now we have this whole last movie thing, right? Naruto the last, and and Gar's still alive. So you would think that the Kages are probably surviving. Mizukage, she's a single woman. She ain't that old, but she's a single woman. She's powerful. She could keep Sasuke in check if need be. Um, she's an attractive woman. Okay. Um, Sasuke, although you know, she she has an interesting. She kind of shut him down. Okay. She could at least you know combat him. But if Sasuke, he changes, say say things change and he changes his mind shit some after he comes back from being a rogue shinobi. Who knows? She may find him very attractive. Well, he, he you know, he he's a good, he's a handsome looking brother. Got him going to be serious. He's a handsome looking brother. And we see from her dreamland thing that she getting married to this handsome looking dude and, and whatnot. So, that's a possibility now. I, I will, I throw it around. Ah. Mm, my... I throw it in the 10 10 range. Ah, uh, you know what? I, th I throw it in the 20 percent. Eh, 20%, 20%. Yeah, I throw it at a 20% chance that, that, that they would get married. You know, as he ages and matures, it's not un unfathomable. Highly unlikely, but it's un not unfathomable. Now, to the main attraction Tsunade. Sinju Tsunade. Here's the only issue. With Tsunade, her age. Cause she up there. She she could she be a grandma to him? I know she old enough to be a, a mom. She get the whole MILF thing. She old enough to be a mom. But a grandma? Could, could Tsunade still have kids? That's the only question I have for this one. I actually have this one at a at a seriously 60% chance. 60% chance for Tsunade. It would work. And here's why. As Sasuke ages. Now, like I said, come back from the whole thing and possibly change his mind as far as the whole thing with the Kaga is obviously. Whatever, you know. Whether, because some people say, Tsunade ain't gonna die, blah, 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 blah. She, oh, she gonna retire. If she does retire. Because look, man, I, look. What of the whole Kage have not died before the, you know, I mean, they say, well, you know, sorry, Toby passed it down to Minato, Namikaze Minato, who died, so he took it up and he died. Kagashi gets his role. But say she does retire. You know, she in no way, Sasuke comes back, he's more mature, whatever. Or maybe she does what she does, she does travel, I don't know, whatever. You know, you invent your own storyline, I don't give a damn. Regardless, Tsunade comes, you know, she takes a liking to Sasuke. Look, she a woman. At the end of the day, she a woman. Look, I'm a woman. She a woman. You know. Maybe she she wants compassion. She wants she wants somebody. And maybe she ain't. Hey, she still got it somewhat. You feel me? Is she into a, a younger dude? I was into it. I, I don't know how much of an age difference. But say she into a younger dude. Uh, he, he grown. He become a grown man. She into a younger dude. They, they hit it off. You know, personality-wise, again, you know, physically, she she could put in work, but he's he's taking it. I mean, come on, he he's taking down Sonata in the battle, but uh, I mean, physically, she could she could do, you know she could she could at least compete with Sasuke. Um, she has the Senju blood, so definitely potential Rinnegan. Okay, uniting a child with the Rinnegan again. Hey. I'm just saying though, she full blooded Sinju, full blooded Uchiha, coming together, that would be, that'd be something interesting. She is Hashirama's uh, granddaughter, 
Sinju Hashirama's granddaughter? Last Uchiha? I mean, look at look at the, look at the size there. It's not it's not inconceivable. To be honest with you, you feel me? The only like I said, the, the the major factor for me is if she's beyond childbearing years. If she could have a have a child, have a kid by Sasuke. And I mean, we, we, you got to take into consideration something else. We first of all, we don't know if he has Sinju DNA, but she has Sinju DNA, and we know full blown that Sinju DNA allows you to live a long ass time. So the if that definitely prolongs her fertility stages. Hey, there you go. Child born with the Rinnegan. What? What? That? Tell me that would not be crazy. Tell me that would not be crazy. That would definitely usher in a new era and would definitely throw a monkey wrench possibly into Uzumaki Naruto. But I'll leave that for the fans to decide on that one. But these are my thoughts. What are yours? These are the possibilities and probabilities I give for Sasuke having a wife in this series uh, to continue on the clan. Um, obviously, you see that I had Hugo Hanabi and Yuga, I mean, and Sinju um, Tsunade. Again, Tsunade's mature enough. She, you know, she can handle Sasuke crazy self. <laughs> she can handle him, okay, as a wife. I could definitely foresee that happening. With her drunk behind, her gambling behind. Yeah, she can handle him. But uh, unexpected one to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on the, on the uh, discussion at hand and uh, on the subject. And until uh, next time, y'all, have a beautiful day, beautiful night. Peace.